Hello, my name is Steve Gearhart and this is the Unagi Observer. Welcome to part four of Where to Eat for Otakon in Washington, D.C. Now in this video, we're going to describe where food places and ATMs are in the immediate area of the Walter E. Washington Convention Center. Remember, I am just listing places that are either affordable or nearby or a combination of the two. As a reminder, please make sure you bookmark the Otakon websites all roads lead to Otakon as it has some quick and easy information. Also, make sure you update your guidebook as it will be really useful in this new venue. Lastly, check out the BBS boards for the Otakon website. There's always some good and useful tips in there that people like to put out. Uh, in particular, check out K Sweely's. Uh, that's a K S W E E L Y. Uh, he's a contributor there and he has this great Google map. The link for it is down below. Please go check it out. A quick word on traffic. As I said in a previous video, the streets here are pretty big. The pictures you are seeing now are ones I took within a block of the convention center. You see how wide they are. These streets are very large and the walk lights are very quick. Now here in Baltimore, the streets were small enough that if the traffic was late, you could kind of run across it pretty quickly not in DC. This is a city where when the walk light tells you to stop and wait, you stop and wait. Or you will get hit, endure severe injury, or die. So stop at all crosswalks and pay attention. The first video coming up will describe places that are right along the blocks that the Walter E. Convention Center sits on. So we're going to go in like this really big circle around the convention center. Uh, also in this first video, there will also be a mention of a couple of places off of Massachusetts Avenue, which is really nearby. Now the next video, the one following that, will detail things that are nearby on New York Avenue and K Street, both of which of course are northwest and near the convention center. So without further ado, let's get into it.
previous videos. Again, my name is Steve Gearhart, and this is the Anagi Observer, and as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you.